Governor Whitmer and the GOP squared off today in court as Republicans allege she abused her emergency powers. And tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones tells us this battle will likely go to the state's highest court. Future emergencies are unknown and they're unknowable. An online hearing today in the and state's court of claims Congress. pitted Governor Gretchen Whitmer against her Republican counterparts in the House and Senate. The hearing stems from a lawsuit filed earlier this month by the GOP challenging Whitmer's extension of a state of emergency without the legislature's approval. We're taking this action to ensure our state can get back on the right track and take the next positive step towards recovery. Arguing on behalf of Whitmer, Assistant Solicitor General Chris Allen said the governor needs expansive powers during a crisis. Public emergencies, whether it's a pandemic or um, a flood or some kind of other local or statewide response, they demand broad authority, not narrow nitpicking. But Judge Cynthia Stevens seemed skeptical that Governor Whitmer's power, even in an emergency, could go unchecked. The governor could declare a state of emergency for an entire term of office. And there would be nothing that the legislator could do about it if they disagreed. Is that correct? The governor can't just declare an emergency if she feels like it. The conditions have to exist, and that is undisputed here. An attorney for House Speaker Lee Chatfield and Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky argued that no governor has used her executive powers like Whitmer and said they were not intended to be limitless. All the legislature is asking the court to do is to return the EPGA to its time-honored understanding, the one that was fully understood by every governor and every legislature up until this governor. Judge Cynthia Stevens says she will render her opinion next week, but does not expect to be the last word. Whatever she rules, she fully expects it will be appealed to the state Supreme Court. We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Ross, thank you.